Wake up, sleepy head, roll out of bed, make sure you're fed, cause it's time for Camp Up Street! Yeah! Doesn't matter if you're red, pink, or blue, no imposters here, just come as you, cause we're all friends. Yeah! At Camp Up Street! Last summer it sure didn't go as planned So we'll double the fun and warm up the band Cause it's time for Camp Up Street Yeah Come on Here we go Let me tell you It's cabin calls and up street halls Water fights and bugle calls Golden squirrels and sports contests Toilet towers, yeah who's the best? It's small group leaders and hot dog eaters And golden acorns and best friend eaters Learn and grow more than you know Learn how to follow and his love will show It's gonna be fun Yeah it is Don't miss a time Hello, Upstreet Campers! My name is Ainsley, and I'm one of your camp counselors. I hope you are having so much fun at camp this summer. What has been your favorite part so far? I think mine would be the tuck shop, bonfires with sticky and sweet marshmallows, water sports, and oh yeah, making some awesome friends too. Last week's challenge was to go on a scavenger hunt. Thank you for sending in your amazing videos and pictures. We can't wait to see what you send in this week. Stay tuned because we have a new challenge for you at the end of Camp Up Street today. And of course, if you do the challenge, you get some tuck, also known as Camp Candy, sent to you in the mail. Let's check in with our friend Caleb and see what he's been up to and if he has any camp advice for us. Listen up, campers. It's that time of the week again. Hello. <laughs> I'm Caleb from that show with that guy. And all summer, we've been hanging out outside and I've been showing you all the should do's and the should not do's <laughs> of camp. But a couple friends recently asked me, they said, hey, Caleb, you've been telling us all the tricks for outdoor living. Do you have tips and tricks for that hashtag camp cabin life? <laughs> and you know I do. <laughs> The inside of your cabin is like a home away from home, if you will, a resting place, a place to recharge and refuel at the end of the day. And there are certain things you should definitely do at the inside of your cabin, like middle bunks. <laughs> middle bunks are where it's at. <laughs> you should also definitely take use of the sinks and showers while you're at camp. Let's be honest, camp is hot, you stink, and so does your breath. So make sure you take use of these things on the regular. Uh, but there are also some things you probably shouldn't do while at camp. If you've got some height on you, you should not pick a top bunk. Don't get a bed by a window. Sunrise is brutal. Do not throw your stuff on the floor. It'll probably end up being someone's napkin. Don't slack on your hygiene. Nobody wants to be involved in your personal challenge to see how many days you can go without a shower. So yeah, take it from me, friends. Uh, camp cabin life is legit and awesome. Just make sure you remember what you shouldn't do. Signing off for today. Stay saucy, love on somebody. See you next time. <laughs> Peace! I think that is some solid advice from Caleb. Definitely do not skip the showers this summer or your cabin buddies might make you sleep outside. For reals. Now it's time to do some singing and dancing. Let's go! Running hide, you bring the broken back to life. Only you can, only you can. You set me free from every chain. You fill my heart with songs of praise. Only you can, only you can. Jesus, you're the only reason that I'm even breathing. I am wide awake. My heart beats.
calling out your name Jesus said, Come, follow me. Matthew 4.19. What's up, Camp Upstreet? We have been talking this summer about what it looks like to follow Jesus. In order to do this, I want to talk about a word I'm sure you've heard of, but this word doesn't get much airtime in the real world. That's because when it comes to showing others this, doing this, being this, well, it's pretty rare. So today I wanna to talk to you about the word humble. Do you know what the word humble means? Why don't you turn to someone around you and tell them what you think it means? Three, two, one, go. means not thinking of yourself as better than other people. Hmm, no wonder this word isn't all that popular. Thinking about yourself, putting yourself first, well, that's easy. But putting others first? Yeah, that's where it gets a whole lot harder. Let's see if we can spot it in action. Let's watch a few short GIFs. If you think it's an example of someone being humble, give a big thumbs up. But if it's an example of someone not being humble, you probably know where I'm going with this. Yep, I wanna see a big thumbs down. Okay, here we go. How about this one? Okay, okay, or this, thumbs up or thumbs down? Okay, what about this guy? Check this one out. All right, last one. It's pretty easy to spot the people and animals that are acting humble in these gifts, right? 
Being humble means we think about other people before we think about ourselves. People like our families, our friends, even people we don't know very well. When we put others first, we're being humble. And you know who did this? Jesus. Here's what Paul had to say about Jesus in Philippians 2. Jesus was God's son. So if anyone could have gotten away with a free pass, it was him. But Paul said Jesus serves others. He was humble and obeyed God completely. It's like this. Jesus, being the son of God, could have said, hey everybody, I'm like the king over everything. You should really put me first. But he didn't. Instead, he put others first all the time. He healed people when they were sick. He fed people when they were hungry. He even gave up sleep to help people. He even got down on his hands and knees and washed the stinky, dirty feet of his friends. Talk about a humbling job. Jesus chose to be humble. When he could have chosen to go first, to be the most important person in the room, Jesus acted like a servant. Jesus put others first. If we want to follow Jesus, guess what? We have got to be humble. Instead of propping ourselves up, making us look like we're more important than everyone else, we need to do the opposite. We need to put others first. So when you have a choice to think about yourself or others, you need to remember to follow Jesus and be humble. Now, I know I need help with this. You probably do too. So let's talk to God and ask him to help us be humble this week. God, thank you so much for sending Jesus. Help us this week to follow him by being humble. Remind us that when we have a choice, we should put others first. And when we put others first, we're showing them your love. We love you, amen. Being humble is definitely not a popular thing in our culture. Jesus could have had anything he wanted because he's God, of course. He chose to serve others instead and go against the culture. As you follow Jesus and his example, what will you choose to do this week? Will you look for opportunities to help and serve others? What if this means giving up some of your video game time to help your dad with a project or not getting the dessert you wanted so your little sister could have it instead? Ask God to give you opportunities to flex your faith muscles in this way. Don't forget to check out your camp guidebook for the read it, memorize it, think about it, and pray it. I think it's time to hear from our camp announcer right now to find out our weekly challenge. What's up campers? This week's challenge might leave you a little stuck. Any ideas about what this challenge is? I can tell you that you did not see it coming. Any guesses? Not tying. What's up Upstreet? I'm Kennedy and I'm here with my brother Owen. What's up guys? And we are here with your week number six challenge. Now Owen loves to fish and he also loves to do everything outside. And that means that he knows how to tie a bunch of super cool knots. This one's called the uni knot. I'll just show you how to do it. First, put your string all the way through. Then you're gonna loop it around, make yourself a little circle. You're gonna take this, the little end, and wrap it through the circle three times. One, two, three. And pull on the end and your main line, and it'll come together and form a nice little knot. That's called the uni knot. Now, you can go ahead and try this knot that Owen just showed you, or in your Camp Upstreet Summer Box, there's a list of knots that you can try with a step-by-step -step way how to do it. Have fun tying your knots! Your camp challenge this week is to work on your knot tying skills. Look in your Camp Upstreet box for the week six challenge where you will find the instructions and step-by-step -step links to help you out. Make sure to fill out the form on the website and get that tuck in the mail. We wanted to send a big shout out to those with birthdays this week. Happy birthday to Elizabeth, Hudson, Oliver, Benjamin, and Emery. We celebrate you. Before we go, I have one question for you. Have you been doing any water sports at camp this summer? 
It was so fun watching Caleb on the blob a few weeks ago. We thought it might be fun to see a few kids try it out too, with a GoPro attached to their helmets. Let's take a look. Yeah, yeah, this is gonna be epic. Mother, if I don't make this alive, please take care of Bobo for me. 